Hampshire was filmed before a live studio audience of hamsters. If you enjoy this balls to the wall insanity, consider supporting me on Patreon, where donors of $100 and more get my lewds. There's also merch, including a relatively new shirt I don't think you've all seen yet that was done by the Teespring staff. It's really cute. Check it out. And now, without further delay, y'all asked for it, now you got it. The live stream on twitch.tv slash Hampshire now depicts not only the cage on land, but also Hambase Alpha in the aquarium. If you didn't know before, now you know. And that is indeed a little tiny banner reading No Gods or Kings, Only Man inside of there. Uh, I wanted it to say only hamster. I'm not good with Photoshop. If anyone who's watching this is, throw up a link to the imager of that file of your best shot at a banner that says only hamster instead of only man. And I will actually print it out and laminate it and put it in the habitat. Ha ha, the coroplast came. If you have somehow gone your entire life without hearing of Coroplast until now, it's probably more familiar to you as that stuff campaign signs are made out of, and can be summarized as, what if cardboard, but plastic? You see it's got that corrugated structure? It's an excellent lightweight building material, very sturdy. More importantly, it's waterproof, which is why it's used for those signs. Of course, for our application, it doesn't need to be waterproof because it's going to be outside the habitat, but because it's going to be inside, used for a raised platform that hamsters are going to spend a lot of time on, and, and probably some of that time will be spent peeing or spilling water. So, unless we want the platform to get gross, we obviously can't use regular cardboard, but Coroplast is a pretty good choice. Since the last video, I cut out a piece of foam that fits snugly between the heater pad and the floor of the habitat and elevates it nicely too. What concerns me about using foam for this is that it's a soft material and the hamsters like to chew anything soft. And even a little bit of indigestible material like foam in their digestive system could kill them. So I really don't think foam is appropriate for this application. I'm not 100% sure. I may as well put them in here at one point and see if they try to chew at the edges of it. I'm undecided on that, but really I think Coroplast is the better of the two options because it's a harder material. They're less likely to chew for pleasure. All right, that's better. It's a much lower profile. There's much less sticking out for little jaws to get around. Pat Smart once again to get just the fittings in here. I don't even need the tubing. They don't seem to sell the ones with the wide flanges separately. And that's going to be what I mount to Mega Hab and to Ham Base Beta in order to uh, permit air to enter. I'm sporting some of that merch I talked about too. Look at how dope that is. Don't deny your true feelings. Besides the aquarium fittings, I'm also looking to pick up another running saucer and this little combination thermometer and hygrometer, which measures humidity. It's nice and compact. It'll fit inside of the habitat easily and it let me monitor from the webcam, no less, uh, how warm it is or cool and what the humidity is like at all times, even right now. They don't seem to have the running saucer. I may have to buy that online, but they have a lot of cute, interesting shoes that might look neat inside of the habitat. I think furniture would be kind of cool. Um, not that they'll actually use it, they'll just tear it to shreds like everything else in my life. But uh, vote in the comments on which of these things you'd like to see inside the habitat. I'm leaning towards the little chair, but I don't want to buy anything until I know what you guys would like to see. Yeah, drink that shit, you little bitch. I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna put you underwater. Don't you give him the side eye. You're going underwater too. All of God's creatures must one day choose the impossible. While I was in there, I picked up this nice little critter tote. So I have something more comfortable to transport the hamsters between the land cage and the aquarium with than my hand. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck, why did I buy so much shit? $70 worth of shit in one day. Why did I do it? Oh yeah, because you're my fans and I love you. Okay, so uh, I don't have all the parts I need to get the second small habitat in the aquarium this week. But I have the rest of the parts coming in the mail. I found out after calling the trailer parts store that they didn't have the correct male threaded fitting for a one and one half inch gate valve, but that the part number is T1008 dash one and one half. And Amazon had it uh, for twelve forty five a pop. A little bit pricey. That's okay. Uh, still no word on whether it's even possible to get one of those uh, swivel female couplings that goes to a fitting like that in two inch. It's kind of a fucking unicorn. It existed at some point, but what they tell me at the store is that that's fallen out of fashion now. It's just not used anymore, so it's really hard to find a supply. Um, that's fine. I don't care. I'm probably going to make an entirely new trio of small habitats, ultimately, all based around the smaller uh, valve size. So if that's the more plentiful design, uh, so be it. I may also cut the existing tunnel in half. It is a bit long for the aquarium currently, as you can see. If I'm going to have three habitats in there, ultimately, I need these to be about half as long, which will still have plenty of transparent space so you can see the hamster going to and fro. Especially if I can find a supplier for rubber bands like this one that are transparent. Some people suggested that I put like an aquarium air hose valve up here and down here. Um, I could do that. The problem is that the, the fitting that would go in through the hole would have a piece sticking in that the hamster could chew on, and that's a no-no. You don't want anything that you can get their jaws around. They could push it out and, and flood the tube. So I think I'm going to go with the rubber band solution, but uh, half-length tubes. And then later on, when it's in a natural body of water and I can forward the extra length, because there will be unlimited space on the, on the bottom of the body of water, I'll just build longer tubes. In other news, uh, my annual trip to Minnesota got moved back by about a month. Long story. Uh, everything's fine. Don't worry. But I'm going to do a smaller camping trip in between now and then. Uh, just to test out all my gear and uh, see if I can't do off-site camping uh, completely self-sufficiently with what I've put together. I, I don't know if you saw some of that gear in an older video, the, the Mad Scientist Mobile. Um, basically, if you have a plug-in hybrid that can go into hold mode where it preserves the charge, then you can drive out to the campsite on gas, which is only about 70 miles from me, um, and then use that battery for amenities. And you can power a lot of stuff with a battery that size that you could never uh, do electrically. Otherwise, you would, you would need fuel. Um, stuff like boiling water uh, or heating it for hot showers, uh, that kind of thing. You can do all that on battery power, and you have enough to last you several days before you have to go back to civilization. That opens up a lot of camping sites where they don't permit you to make a fire and some of them don't even permit you to have anything uh, like fuel or isopro stoves so that's pretty cool uh, I've got a lot of gear and, and gadgets I've put together to test out and I'll probably do a video about that as well but um, the good news for Hampshire in the near term is that all the parts I need to finish the second habitat are on their way there shouldn't be another major delay Again, getting a video out, although it is kind of uh, harrowing uh, having to do these at the rate of one per week. I might, uh, not not committing to anything, I might move the schedule out to one every two weeks. Let me know if that's acceptable in the comments or whether you insist on having them one a week. Um, I would prefer uh, one every two weeks because then I can guarantee there's enough content for it to be worth making a video about. The other thing is, I'm trying to gradually bump up the production values. I don't know if, if it shows. Uh, I want to put out a more refined product that's more competitive with the kind of thing you see on YouTube these days. And that takes time. 